Alright, so I just talked to Sundarian and stuff, so let's see if a she has something new to say. Uh, go sleep later. Yes, surely you are impatient to know what I found out. So listen. It is not too much, and the unnatural. There is way it has to. Most of us made. However, what you call it, I can. As I. C it is up to you. Whatever you. If you are in. Why am I ha. Why am I having these nightmares? Oh, I see. So you've touched that sword, and my appre. Unfortunately, I can't oh, tell you much of help, but I suppose that you have been afflicted by a very old and powerful curse. All I can tell you is that the solution to your problem must be hidden somewhere inside this dream itself. Be brave and face that nightmare. I advise you to keep your eyes wide open while dreaming, though this may sound a paradox. Try to find out whatever you can about that weird dream world. I hope that this will reveal a clue. I will try to continue my research, though I can't promise anything. If things keep getting worse, come back to me. So I recommend that if you've seen the last sentence, read it to yourself because, like, I apologize. I thought that it would actually Goodbye. not skip the sentence. So I think I know what to do. But I did take a look at the walkthrough while I was away, I guess you could say. Um, oh, you know what? Let's just go sleep in the Archmage's quarters, since we're right here. And Zedarian won't tell you anything new, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go take a sleep. And let's go sleep for an hour. Alright, so if you want to change the dried essence to the real one uh, we're gonna have to try and follow this she's gonna be really good. okay so I want that now okay. I actually want the audio to go down uh, hopefully it's effect there we go. Alright, so we need to try and head towards the original spot. Which I have no idea where it is, so... I know it's at a crossroads. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. We got some stuff. Oh, so if you do notice, uh, the dried essences do go with you. So that is something to note. Oh, there is a Dindalon's Nightmare thing. Okay. Oh, hey, a shield. Does the armor respawn now? No, it does not. That is kind of sad, actually. Okay, so once you go teleport to over here, once you first go in here, I'm actually reading the why through how to do this, actually. So let's see, so once you go and teleport, you're normally here. So let's see. So when entering the dream world through the default starting point, walk straight up. In front of you through the archway with the dense spider web. So, assuming it's talking about this way. Because it does have a spider web. Okay. At the next crossing, head left. And this should lead you to the first well, which is what it says. Is it 
still following me? Oh yeah, it is. It's still following me. Now... Okay, so let's see here. So with that, head left, following the stairs, lean down, you'll come to a pavilion, which will give you the Spring of Fortitude, giving you some uh, protective magic effect for about 60 seconds. Da -da -da -da. There's only one path that leads from here, head right and up again. So head right and up again. Ah! I don't care, just leave me alone. Okay, so I think this is another thing. Uh, let's see here. There's only one path from here. Head right and up again. Follow it until you are till you're passing a waterfall at right hand, which we saw coming out of nowhere from somewhere above. Keep in mind that its source of the material, the source of this waterfall, is what you need to find. A little after the waterfall, you'll notice another stairway emerging from below and crossing your path beneath it, but without directly connecting to it. Jump down to the right leaving the current stairs and continuing this path walking up not down so we need to head to this one and head up okay is it still following me no good i don't want to get started by magical spells and stuff like that. okay <clears throat> i apologize if you keep seeing the inventory and stuff like that it's just that like i'm trying to read it okay so pass through another archway closely after above it wait a minute pass through another archway closely after and above it so is it talking about oh he followed me so this thing <clears throat> and above it another and crosses your path from left to right you'll see that it has another archway close by the right jump down again facing right and up when turning around and looking back you'll detect a chest with a helpful and responding healing potion take it if you like but don't forget that your path leads up okay follow the stairs up through the third archway ignoring this the next turn off to the right I mean left I'm assuming Just head on straight. Okay. Now the path will turn in a 90 degree angle. What? I'm confused now. Wait, what? Your path leads up. I did go up. It says to ignore the first one on the right, but there's none on the right. Unless it's talking about, like, this would be left, technically. Yeah, so. I'll grab the healing chest, I guess. What? Oh, did I already claim it? Oh, yeah, it's that chest. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So it says to ignore this one. I'm assuming, and go to that one. Okay. Let's let's see. But it says now the path will turn left in a 90 degree angle. That's the thing that's confusing me right now. That's the part that's confusing me at this moment, though. a revival oh this is where I was okay now follow the turning the stairs continue to ascend towards to the left okay so never mind so do head towards this way I don't know why it says now the path will turn left in a 90 degree angle it didn't Uh, let's see, once again, activate the well. This will move your fallback point to this location. Then continue along 
the only path from here to the left. The rest of the path may appear quite long, winding, and weird, but don't let it irritate you. From here, there are no crossings or turnoffs anymore, only several interruptions that will force you to jump over some gaps. But you cannot get lost anymore unless by falling down. You will come past the waterfall once more, only to a higher level this time, and also through another archway. So, it's telling me this one? I don't see any waterfall though. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. The winding. But I don't. I didn't see a, a waterfall though. Like it's talking about a waterfall, but I don't. I didn't see a waterfall anywhere near here. No, I don't tell his name. I just leave me alone. It says I might need to jump down though, so maybe I need to jump down. Maybe it's over here. Because here's a waterfall. There's two of them. That's where I need to go. So maybe it's over here, maybe? Okay, so let's see here. Can I even go up this? Oh, I can. Oh, this is going to be challenging, I think. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay. Boink. This is, this is weird, but, like, it looks like you shouldn't even be able to do anything here. Uh, I think you need to head over here. Oh, and the frame rate. Holy crap. Going down to 20. So I'm assuming this is where you need to go, right? Hmm. I found an unnatural fountain. The water pouring from it is shining and with blazing light and vibrating with energy surprisingly it has a strong invigorating smell of fresh clover so if you don't know what that hint is supposed to tell you you want to go and drop one of these and you want to use the Z function which is just your pickup ability and I have to go in there hopefully that doesn't move I guess okay and now, we want to do something like this. There you go. A dried essence is soaking up with, soaking up the fluid of this fountain. I have created a flask of the real fluid essence of dreaming. And you automatically can teleport it out. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to go and save the game because you have three chances of doing this. If you fail every one of them, I apologize. Alright, so first things first is that you want to go and use the Essence of Dreaming on the Ghostly Blade. And sleep again. This time, it should be with you. After falling asleep once more, this time with the poisoned blade firmly gripped with my sword hand, I found myself inside the nightmare as always, but this time, the blade is still here in my hand. It feels almost physical, as if it is gaining power. The nightmare seems much less threatening now. I am starting to feel that I am close to overcoming this horror. It is just a matter of confidence. And if you actually see, though, um, 
You can, it's actually not disorienting anymore. As soon as the blade cuts through the nightmare ghostly body, my fingers tremble and I sense the vibrations of an ancient hungry spirit. It seems like two old enemies have met once again. Oh, he fell. Crap. He'll soon go, go up again sometime later. There we go. He fell down again! Okay, fine. I'm just gonna collect the wall then. What? Aw, oh, are you kidding me? The way the hunter thirstily drinks away the nightmare's life energy, the more I fight it, the more it shrinks to a mere whisper. So if you you want to quickly loot it, and you can get the Heart of the Nightmares, which is an interesting, which is a cool item, according to the... I've defeated the nightmare. The final clue was to go to sleep with the blade firmly gripped in my hand so that it would follow me into the dimension of dreams. There I could use it to destroy the evil spirit. Thus an ancient old legend has finally come to rest. Okay. Oh! Wait, what? Can we go through the portal? Let's check. <laughs> Game crashes. That, that would have been really funny. Whoa, frame rate drop. Okay. So, I'm going to try and keep myself blind for this part. I'm not going to read the walkthrough or anything. This looks like a normal oblivion cave, but like everything is just like bigger. Oh, this doesn't hurt. Then what's the whole point of like following this? Just to keep light on or something? Hi. What is your desire? I wish for the nightmares Why to stop. Why is the stranger walking the path of the dreamer? I don't want these nightmares anymore, that's why. Cool effect, though. I really like it. Where am I, and who are you? Don't you recognize me? Has it been so long time since we last met? I've been waiting for you, my lord. Through all this time, I know that this dream must not go on forever. Okay. So, isn't there anything you wish to tell me? 